So if you enjoyed the Vikings beating the bloody piss out of the New Orleans Saints in London, there's my attempt at a little English or British accent for you guys. But if you enjoyed the Vikings beating the New Orleans Saints, crazy victory for the Vikings today. I'll be hopping into my notes and takeaways. But another classic game between the Vikings and Saints. We came out on top. If you enjoy beating the New Orleans Saints like I know all of you guys do, go down, hit that subscribe button. Welcome in the Vikings. Now I am your host, Patrick Seatman. The 3 and one Minnesota Vikings with the Bears on the schedule next week. Could we be sitting at a 4-1 and one team? This was a hell of a victory by our Minnesota Vikings. Up and down game. Vikings ending up coming out on top 28-25. to 25. If you take a look at the box score real quick before we dive into my news and notes. Kirk Cousins, honestly a pretty... Kirk-like game. I'll get into that later. 25 of 38, 273 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Dalvin Cook given 20 carries for 76 yards. Justin Jefferson dominating Marshawn Lattimore for 10 receptions, 147 yards, and that great streak route that he burned him on on the last play of the game. Andy Dalton had a pretty solid outing too. We'll get into him a little more later, but I do want to start with the injury news today. Lewis seeing the first round pick for the Minnesota Vikings. He was carted off the field in the first quarter he left with an air cast on his left leg and went to the local hospital this is his first time really getting real reps in an NFL game so it kind of sucks to see him leave it's going to be curious to follow him and see what the actual diagnosis of this left leg injury is like I said he was taken to a local hospital so hoping the best for him but now let's get into my notes from this New Orleans Saints game this crazy up and down matchup number one victory a win is a win Everybody can just kind of take a deep breath and realize we are 3-1. and one. This team is going to give us heartbreakers the entire year, just like last year. And let's take a look at the stats for the Vikings against the Saints offensively. 344 yards total. That's okay. 263 yards through the air, 81 rushing yards, and third down efficiency, 5 of 14. 5 of 14 overall, not the best. Even worse when considering the Vikings started off 3 of 3 on third down on the opening drive. So going 2 of 11 on your last 11 third downs, not the best. The Vikings defense today, though, if you throw up the Saints stats right now, only giving up 306 yards, pretty solid. But if you consider the Saints injuries that they had, I thought the defense could have played a little better. But I'll dive into that a little more later. Giving up 195 passing yards, 111 on the ground. I swear that's going to be the Vikings Achilles heel this entire season is that rushing defense. Third down efficiency, though, 4 of 10. Saints were able to pick up a couple th key third downs, especially in the second half. Overall, though, a win is a win. Now, second takeaway, Kirk plays like Kirk. You know, every time I come in here, I always want to address Kirk Cousins' performance against whoever we are playing. But if you look at his stats versus the Saints, overall, not too bad. 25 of 38, 273 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. And that interception he threw actually in the second quarter. It was a simple high-low concept. It was Justin Jefferson running the out-breaking route and then Irv kind of running the, I guess it was kind of like a streak route behind Jefferson. Both guys went to Jefferson. Kirk just didn't read the fact that the Honey Badger was coming right over. Ended up being a costly interception. But hey, back-to-back -back weeks, Kirk Cousins in the fourth quarter. He looks pretty good, man. He looks pretty good. So I do want to ask you guys this. What is your confidence level in this team going into next week? How do you feel about this team? We're sitting at 3-1. and one, A couple of up and down victories where the kind of our emotions are getting played with us a little bit, especially against the Lions game and now especially against this past Saints game. What is your confidence level in this team breaking out two key victories? Scale it 1 to 10 in the comments down below. Third takeaway for me, I think, you know, injuries played an impact. I don't want to get on here and say, you know, the Vikings won a game where the Saints were at full health. They weren't. The Saints had some key inactives today that I think really played an impact. Jameis Winston. Yes, Andy Dalton, Jameis Winston, the gap between those two, I don't think is that extreme. But them not having Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara and Marcus May, I think that really played an impact into the Saints' overall offense, especially missing those two key weapons. So I will say this, I do think missing these guys played an impact on today's game, but also Marcus May not being there. As we saw, Kirk Cousins was able to take advantage in the fourth quarter against the second string safety for the Saints. I do think not having Marcus May playing today helped the Vikings a lot. Now we'll kind of connect it back to the original note I had. Great Kirk Cousins performance. I'll leave this as the pinned comment on today's show. I'm curious what the Vikings fan base, what the pulse of the Vikings fans have to say about how Kirk Cousins 
played versus New Orleans. Give him a grade. Bring out your red pen. Give him an A, B, C, D, or F. Now I want to give a shout out to our proud sports book, sports book sponsor, Bet US, man. If you bet on the Vikings game today, your emotions are even higher and lower than mine were throughout the game. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet, use promo code chat125, you'll get 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean? You put $100 into your account, they're going to be $125 just to play with. You can bet on whatever you want, whether it's the rest of today's NFL slate or you want to bet on some MLB playoffs coming through soon, you can really choose. Go to chatsports, chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code chat125. Fourth note, Jefferson versus Lattimore. This, oh, this made me excited today. This was a great matchup to watch throughout the game. They were battling back and forth. Lattimore got the better of Jefferson a couple times in the first half, not even going to lie. But Jefferson, he dominated Lattimore in the second half. Shout out to producer Trace right there too. 10 receptions, 147 yards, and a touchdown. And it, that, or the touchdown was that little jet sweep handoff, which I absolutely love that play call from Kevin O'Connell. But damn, giving him 10 receptions, 147 yards. Best play of the game too. Kirk, fourth quarter, game-winning drive, driving down to get the game-winning field goal on his head. Right on Lattimore's head for a 30, 40-yard fade route. That was great. And I also thought today they got Jefferson the ball in more creative ways. Like I mentioned, that little touchdown, little jet sweep, or not the jet sweep pass, but the little motion jet run that he had, I thought they were using Jefferson a bunch of different ways. I saw him split out in the backfield, saw him in the slot, saw him playing the X. He was really all over, really playing that true Cooper Cup role that we were anticipating Jefferson to play in this Kevin O'Connell Kevin offense. Now, I want to ask you guys, before I get into my last takeaway, what do you think the Vikings record is going to be after today's game? Do you think the Vikings could be sitting at 12, 13 wins? Like I'm thinking right now, I'm drinking the purple Kool-Aid, but could we see the Vikings sitting at 12 to 13 wins? Let me know what you guys have to say down below. Predict the Vikings record because we're 3-1. And, and now my final note is 5-1 coming soon. Our bye week's in week six, and I was looking a, looking a little sneak peek at the Vikings schedule right here. Saints game, probably the biggest concern on this schedule. Got to win. Bears at home next week. I'm not going to chalk up any divisional NFC North game as a win, but it's looking pretty good so far. The Vikings-Dolphins game in Miami. Teddy Bridgewater, potential revenge game, playing against his former team. And then if two is playing, I do think that's going to be the key game. I think the Vikings sitting at 4-2, and 5-1 and one going into bye. Super exciting. And make sure you guys have subscribed for the whole way. But if you made it to the end of today's video, you're a real one. And if you are a real one, type real one down below. I appreciate you guys sticking around for this entire video. Crazy game against the New Orleans Saints today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Skull Vikes.